This is the first episode of Full Disclosure from InfinityExist.com. I am Knox, and this is Patch, and uh, for our first segment, what we're going to do is our poisoning. It's a basic switch network attack. Basically, uh, it's, switch networks are used in homes, businesses, schools, your standard network setup. What we have here is an attacker computer, switch, victim, and a default gateway. You can see in the diagram of the topology here uh, what's going on, basically. And uh, I'm going to send it over to Patch to explain ARP. All right. Switches work on ARP tables. Um, ARP it stands for Address Resolution Protocol. It's the correlation between the burned-in MAC address in your NIC card um, and the IP address, which is your ne network address. All right. So if the host or the victim computer wants to communicate with the outside world or another computer, and it doesn't know the MAC address of that computer, it's going to have to send out a mark, uh, ARP request. All right. So what, the, what you do is um, the attacker has to be on the same network, the same switch network, and when the victim sends that request, the uh, attacker will intercept it and send a forged one back to it, saying that this MAC address is the MAC address you want. And what it'll do is the victim will start, will put that in their ARP catch on the computer and start sending their data to the attacker. The attacker will then will be able to sniff everything that comes to them and send it to the destination it's supposed to go to. All right. Um, that way you can be able to sniff passwords. Uh, anything that goes over. And uh, we're going to show you the basic attacks, we're going to show you the basic art poisoning, uh, we're also going to show you some more advanced stuff like being able to sniff passwords that are in the secure uh, socket layer, which is basically using banks and whatnot. Uh, we're going to show a ver uh, variety of programs such as Kane and EtherCap to do the art poisoning, and uh, a Wireshark, also known as EtherReal back in the day, uh, just for a basic sniffer. So let's shoot it over to the computers and let's get going. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Right. So I'm going to open up Kane here. And I will be doing a basic scan of the network. Just find out which hosts are on my network. Activate the sniffer. Not scan of all subnets. Alright, this is the this is the default gateway. And this is the victim computer. So we'll start our poisoning. Added our two computers here. We'll select a default gateway. And who else we want to attack, which is the computer. Uh, start our poisoning. And now the victim, uh, when it goes to uh, any website, like uh, MySpace. I'm over here, and I'm going to go to uh, MySpace here. Just like a standard login for a site. And uh, I'm just going to log in with whatever email address here. Just make up that. Alright, and as you can see here, it shows all the routing. It's, um, like I said before, all the information is going to this computer and then being sent to the destination. Uh, if we go over here, and we can see, we should be able to see the password under HTTP. And this is what he logged into uh, MySpace, the username bob at bob.com, and password infinity. Alright, so let's try some more advanced uh, attacks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to chase.com. Probably familiar with it. It's like a, a pretty big bank in the Midwest here. And we're going to just log in uh, with whatever, you know, just a, an example. I suppose you can cut off the zombies using that. Um. So, what happens in this attack is you know, when you go to uh, HTTPS uh, site, it'll ask you to just accept the sort of. Uh, certificate. What happens is the big, the attacker will make a fake one. Uh, it will accept the one from the real site, make a fake one, and send that fake one to the victim. And the victim, if the victim says yes, then you can get all this encrypted data. So I'm going to go ahead and log. Just going to log in here. Set the certificate. And as you see here, you can see the fake certificates being sent. And jump over here and we see the password being used at the chase. Okay, we just showed you Kane. Uh, we're going to switch over to another program. It's my personal favorite for network attacks. It's called EtherCap. Um, it has many different capabilities for network attacks, uh, which we'll be going over in a later episode. Uh, also, um, our poisoning uh, 
has ability, when you are poisoned, you see all the traffic that's going up over sand. It's not just HTTP. Um, you can also capture FTP, POP, SMTP, uh, even VoIP, which will be also be going over in later episode. Um, let's start it off. Basically, start out the same way, with a, just like Kang. So, uh, snipping. Network. A little scan for hosts. And obviously, it finds two hosts, which is the default gateway and um, the victim. So, we'll select uh, the default gateways are target one and the victim as target two. And we'll go to the man in the middle text, which is what our poison is classified as. Uh, we'll select our poisoning, sniff remote connections, and we will start, start sniffing. Now, we'll go over to the victim. Boom. Now we have going here, uh, just an FTP server we set up on our uh, our server computer, which is also a default gateway. And just uh, log in here, admin. Let's go to login. And you see here, um, it was accepted. We saw it go pass, and there you go. That's how uh, you sniff using EtherCab. EtherCab is also available in Linux. Um, we just use Windows because Every that's what Kane's on. Yeah. And that's what we use. Um, next, we're going to show you that when you're sniffing in computer, you, uh, you use Kane EtherCap to make it easy to see passwords. It'll sort through the password, all the files and pick out passwords and show it to you. But uh, you can use a, a packet sniffer like Wireshark. It was it used to be called Etherreal. I don't know why they changed the name. Um, and you can see here and to start sniffing and you'll be able to see any packet sent over and see if the, the victim wants to go to like Google. You see that you see it, the DNS request for Google. Um, sooner and later we'll see uh, all the packets. When you're on a large network, you don't want to be you can choose to target all hosts on the network, and uh, that will really bog down your network. Um, most, uh, uh, the best way to do it is to just choose one target, and the default gateways are your targets, or else you're just going to totally bog down the network, and it's just going to destroy it. As you see here, all the packets being sent. Uh, that's basically it for our poisoning. That's our, that's our first episode. Uh, hopefully we'll be making more episodes soon. Yep. It's pretty easy. See you later, guys. Thanks.